the land seems lonely. It's haunted by the hard times of an agrarian lifestyle of centuries past. But these are just the types of areas in which the whitetail thrives. My father-in-law and I traveled to hunt with Tom Ainsworth of Grandview Outfitting in Manitoba in late October. Tom was a longtime bear hunting magazine advertiser, but last year he sold his bear business and now he's focusing on whitetail. On the right hand here, it's got it's a young deer. It's got lots of length, lots of potential there. It's starting to get some length in the tines. The original bone collector, yeah, Tom right. Ainsworth. We found him. He's, yeah. he's in Manitoba. It was not Mike Waddell, it's no. Tom Ainsworth. <laughs> no. Tom's got access to massive amounts of private land, both ag land and what the Canadians call bush land. Hunting with Tom feels more like you're going to hunt with a good friend than with an outfitter. This guy knows his whitetails, and he's the real deal. I wouldn't have predicted that I'd be hunting over the gray landscape of the far north for the giant whitetails that I was mesmerized by as a boy. Canada was a sleeper whitetail destination until the 1990s when some huge deer started coming out of Canada. It's our first evening in Manitoba. We drove through the night. We got here today at about 10 o'clock. It is about 25 degrees, just beautiful weather. We're going out for the first evening sit. It's about three o'clock and man, there's some tremendous deer up here. I had no idea how excited I was gonna be about this. So first first evening in the stand, No, not much wind, cold, just a beautiful evening. We'd be hunting over alfalfa and wheat fields. On the second day of the hunt, Tom saw a big buck with some does near an open gate at the corner of a very large field. At midday, we moved in and put up a ladder stand. It's our second evening here in Manitoba. Saw a bunch of deer this morning. My father-in-law, Steve Schultz, his muzzleloader misfired on a big 150-inch dark chocolate rack 10-point. I'm sitting at the corner of a big wheat field in, a, in a, some type of cut line right here. Tom saw a big buck in here this morning. Most of my shots are inside of 30 to 40 yards. Shooting the Matthews, and it's, it's tough bow hunting up here. It'd be a lot better if I was using a muzzleloader, but I really wanted it shoot this hail on 32, so. An hour and a half after arriving, I saw a spike coming down the cut line. Up until this point, all the bucks we'd seen had surprisingly been in pairs. As the buck passed without detecting me, I began to watch his back trail. Within five minutes, I saw a flash of fur and antler about 75 yards away. A 
Upon first appraisal, I thought the deer was 135 inch 10 point. I'd quickly learn that judging antler size on big bodied Canadian whitetails is a learned skill. Meh, meh. I hope you don't feel like you've been punked, but I didn't get the oh, shot man. on film. That was a big buck. Holy cow. Oh. Big. Heavy horn. He was at 30 yards. I hit him a little bit high. What a buck. He made a big spin out through that field. We thought this deer made it back into the woods. I thought the shot was a little high. He didn't make it out of the field. <laughs> Holy cow. Now that is a Manitoba <coughs> whitetail buck right there. That is why you come to Manitoba. What a beast. Heavy horns. Mainframe 10, big brow. See the kicker I told you about? Two kickers. <laughs> it looks good right there. I got more than I bargained for on this hunt. New friends, spectacular antlers, and healthy, organic, free-range meat that I brought back to Arkansas for my family. As much as I love bear hunting, nothing will ever replace whitetails. Finished product. <laughs> yep. We'll just have it here for just now. The hunter forms a powerful connection to the land which he hunts. I've now found myself deeply endeared to the gray skies, the black dirt, and the white snow of Manitoba's Eden. I guess we'll have to come back. It's got some mass down here near the skull. It's got great brow tangs. It's got some character with a split brow tang. It's got good length in the tang. The beams are nice and high. They come up high. This very yeah. impressive deer when it's going. Yeah. 152. I knew it. Whoa, Look at that show. 152, yeah. Hey, that's a day. Yeah, I'm that's telling you. Yep. 152. Hey, with a bow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh.